Hey guys, welcome back to the B&B Farms Maple Channel. My name is Tony. Today we're going to be down at the sawmill. Got a kind of an interesting project we're going to be working on. If you've ever watched uh, many sawmill videos, which I'm sure we all have, right? Um, you'll eventually run across somebody that's going to mill utility poles. And there seems to be two primary schools of thought when it comes to milling power poles or telephone poles or utility poles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, one school says, yeah, it's okay. You know, be careful, take some precautions, uh, wear some PPE, you'll be fine. The other school of thought is, is exactly 180 degrees out from that. It's like never again. You know, I did it one time, never going to do that again. Horrible mistake. Well, I think it's time that b, b Farms jumped into this and give this a shot. So, you see them right there? Yeah, we're going to mill some utility poles. Uh, we've got a project in mind that we need some treated 4x4s. So, that's what I hope to get. Um, I'm a little worried about it. We don't know how much metal's in these poles. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, I am going to wear some rudimentary pb ppe rather uh long sleeves long pants safety glasses a cartridge respirator i'll have the fan on in the sawmill shed you know blowing away from me so uh yeah let's jump into this so maybe a little backstory about uh where we got these poles would be in order before we get started cleaning them up our local electric utility uh remc that's our, our you know, a, a electrical co-op has these uh, where they replace poles. They they will, you know, take out an old pole or a damaged pole and replace it with a new one. And they offer these to their members. <clears throat> now, full disclosure, um, I contacted them about these poles before we even owned a sawmill. Um, I had forgotten all about it, as a matter of fact. And then, you know, two years after I said, yeah, I'd like to have some of those, I get, I get a phone call. And I'm, you know, like I said, I forgot about it. I was thrilled to, to remember that and, and to go get these. And he asked me, what size do you want? How big's your trailer? So I have a 12 foot trailer. So he cut these into, you know, approximately 12 foot sections for me. Some of them are a little shorter. And my job now, they've cleaned them up pretty well, but you can see that, you know, there's still, there's still ground wire you know, steepled in there to them, but that's all got to come off. Um, the, the thing with a utility pole, from, from what I read, is, you know, you don't know how much metal you're going to hit down in this thing. My, my hope is that these are a rural pole. Uh, they're not on a street corner where everybody's putting signs and, you know, lost, lost pet type stuff and stapled everything to them. So I, I'm hopeful that these won't have as much, as much metal in them as a, an urban setting might and for these you know these four befores i'm getting ready to mill i'm going to try to use the the upper section of the pole far less likely in my opinion to have metal you know that far up above the ground you can see these holes in here so you know that to me that means this was you know this was the upper section of the pole and the, the diameter is a lot smaller up there so that's what we're going to use but first i got to get all this all this copper off of them. So let's get started doing that.
believe this was not our EMC equipment right here. Okay, so we have the utility pole on the bunks. We've got it uh, dogged in where it can't roll. It wasn't quite long enough to reach this bunk right here, so we used our homemade tow board to support this, this off end of the log. Uh, we've got a video on how we made that uh, down through here in our video selection, so you guys can go watch that if you so desire. We've got the big end here away from the mill, small end, down at the operator's station. Um, I did do something a little different in that I have cut a block, uh, the exact dimension that I want, and screwed it into the center of this log. And the reason I did that was due to these prefabricated brackets that we bought to attach the legs to that elevated uh, hunting platform that we're building. And this measurement from here to here and here to here is not the same. You can see how they made that. It's got this got this plate welded in here. That's not exactly a, a square. Now, I have no doubt that a, a factory store-bought 4x4, four four, which would be 3.5 or 3 and 5 eighths square, would do the job. I mean, there's been thousands of these sold. Guys have, have used them all over the place and not had any trouble. But that's one of the advantages of having your own sawmill, is I can cut a dimension that's going to fit in here a little tighter than a... a a factory piece or a store-bought piece would. So, uh, where does that leave us? Like I said, we're dogged in. I think we are ready to go. I'm going to get some PPE on, and we're going to make our first cut. Stick around. first 4x4 is finished. So how'd we do? 
actually pretty good. Um, the lumber's great looking lumber inside that utility pole. Get up here at the end where the, the cross braces work. She's got some holes drilled in it. But again, this is a 12 footer and I'm only gonna need at the most a 10, probably a nine. So I'll be cutting this end off anyway. So yeah, I am really pleased with that. No problems with the mill. We didn't strike any metal. Uh, I should probably mention that the Woodland Mills HM126 has a used blade on it that has cut a ton of board and batten siding. Uh, I didn't want to risk putting a brand new blade on it for something that was as unknown as this utility pole was. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it on there and keep cutting. It worked out great. So three more to go. Well, there they are, four approximately 12 foot, four by fours milled out of utility poles. How did it go? Honestly, it went effortless. Uh, we had no difficulties, didn't find any metal, didn't have any problem with the blade cutting through it. I uh, didn't have to make any changes to the way I, I would normally mill a, a log. So there you have it. We've milled our first utility poles here at B&B Farms of Maple. Uh, and it, it went very well. Would I do it again? Yeah, and, and I'm going to do it again, actually. We've still got another oh, nine or ten poles. And I'm going to mill up some two by fours to go with these four by fours that you see down here to act as bracing. Now, does that mean that I'm endorsing you that you should be milling utility poles? Not in the least. Uh, it's always been our goal here at B&B Farms to not, not to tell you how you should be doing things, but to show you how we do things. Um, I'm sure it's not for everyone. It's, it's a pain. You have to wear that PPE or you should be wearing it. And when you're all done, like I am now, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this sawdust and these slabs. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not simple. It's, it's not, you know, just a, a quick thing. Yeah, let's just do it. You got to give it some thought, but the process itself went really well for us. And I'm, I'm very pleased with it. So that's going to be about it. We're going to wrap this up and get out of here because I am really thirsty. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And give us a thumbs up if you would. It, it really does help the channel. We're trying to grow it, trying to get somewhere. Uh, our goal is to get 1,000 subscribers. We're a long way from there. But we're, we're gaining on it slowly but surely. So until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. Get outside and run your mill a little bit. You'll enjoy it. See you guys.